the Swanee River Boogie there. Uh, I thought I'd make a movie on left-hand fingering patterns. Uh, I don't really intend this to be a lesson. I have a bit of an unusual way of doing it that uh, I thought I'd share with the people on YouTube and maybe invite some thoughts, comments and indeed suggestions. Uh, so let's get back to basics. The, I suppose the normal way of playing that would be to use the one, two, three and the fifth finger. Shift the whole hand up. But there's two things I did a little bit different. Uh, the first one is I based most of my left hand fingering around the first and the fifth. So if I'm going to hit the A note, I'm going to use finger number two, and that works. But the main thing I do differently is when I'm shifting up like from C to F, because most boogie patterns are based around what you call a 1-4-5 progression, uh, I use like uh, a transition finger, is the best, perhaps the best way to describe it. So the, the second finger is here, and I hit that once, hit the F once, before shifting up. Uh, when I go down to C, then I'll just shift the whole hand as in down to G. And I'm going up now, so I'll use the second finger. Going up to F, say. And if I decide to go up to G instead of going down, I'll use the thumb is on the G note already, so I'll hit the, the G with the thumb once. Yeah, up, up to full speed, that works this way. So those are the two main differences. Now that's obviously a pretty basic uh, boogie pattern, and most of the best ones involve chords of some description. Uh, probably the, the easiest chorded uh, boogie is just this. Which you can either play slow like that in the blues, or... And again, my method uh, works quite well for me, in that if I go up to F... basic one, uh, a more advanced boogie pattern would be this, and here's where the fingering gets uh, very interesting. I know a lot of pianists, Jules Holland is, is a particular favourite of mine, just uses one, three and five. Just those three fingers to, uh, to finger that one out, and it works this way. So I'll do that really slowly in case some people haven't seen that uh, boogie pattern before. My first difference is that I've been uh, sort of brought up to use all five fingers, so the first little bit of a difference is this way for me. Giving all the fingers a workout. And then getting used to this now, shift with the second, down to C. Hit the G once with the thumb. That's C, but already I hear one or two people saying, ah, well that's the easiest one, what about uh, G? Uh, I won't go up to F, I'm not advanced enough yet to play with either F, hitting that uh, very awkward B flat there, but G. G is a, a nice little key that this, that my, that also works for me.
けど、おめで Pretty much the same thing, the uh. Down C. G. Now D is the, the awkward, slightly awkward one, it's not too difficult if you keep practicing it, but D, instead of the, the third note or the uh, being, being a black, it's, uh, it's a C. So. And then it frees me up, there she is, to. The main advantage is there's one or two particularly、uh, quite advanced left hand patterns that I'm working on now, which、uh, here's one for instance. And this is where I think、uh, I can scream in triumph because the way that I use my transition finger. Let's break that back down a bit actually, in case people are interested. Now, doing that at speed, it's very, very difficult to shift the whole hand up、uh, to hit that note twice. I, mean, I can't do it, but then I'm so used to practicing it the other way.、Uh, but my way it does seem to be especially useful for that particular type of boogie. And so what I'm doing is. And then on to G. So that works. That's pretty much what I wanted to, to get across. Uh, uh, if I can think of anything now, just to end off my thoughts, comments, and suggestions about left hand patterns. Oh, yeah, it's just pretty much use all five fingers, because、uh, then some of the, the other more adventurous bass lines, if you've given your fingers a workout, Like this one in A minor for the Bumble Boogie,、uh, I think it's very useful. There you go, my thoughts on left hand boogie patterns. <laughs>